What I really enjoy about A Few Good Men is it is very non-traditional from what you typically would envision from a choir. There's definitely a sense of just camaraderie that, that happens naturally in that, in that group. There are no girls. It feels really good to sing with a whole bunch of people around you because it doesn't just feel like you're singing alone. To me, it doesn't matter if a guy comes in with years of, you know, personal musical training and piano experience, or if they're brand new to music and they've never sung a note in their life. The Boys Choir was created 12 years ago as an opportunity for all of the boys in the different choirs to come together and sing as an ensemble. We're so fortunate to be able to build a few good men on top of the incredible foundation that the Oakville Children's Choir has laid out over the past 20 seasons. I'd always noticed that there wasn't a place for boys whose voices had changed to sing with the Oakville Children's Choir. So when a boy's voice changed, they had to go, which seemed sort of unfair and sad to me. I think it just adds an entirely new dimension to the organization. And in the future, I see so many possibilities in terms of collaboration with the young women in the group and meshing that with the young men to create an entirely new sound that the OCC has really never had before. Well, I was really excited when he came home and said, you know, I heard about this choir and I want to join. I like the songs and I also like saw them perform before I joined and I like the Boomwhacker thing. The Boomwhacker song, it was so much fun because when you would bang down the Boomwhacker, it would make a sound of the notes and the beat with the Boomwhackers, it, it was just really fun. He loved it. He looked forward to every Saturday when there was a rehearsal. He, he was desperate to get out to rehearse. A few good men rehearsals are my favorite part of every single week. They have a lot of fun. It's a way place where they grow, where they discover each other, and it's a very good social setting for every child. We progress a lot every rehearsal, yet it's still loads of fun. I'm singing and laughing and having fun. We have really cool games and I love the songs. There's like no stress, like it's just, complete relaxation and everyone seems to really want to be there. I think back to like the very first rehearsal versus end of the year and like there's a huge difference. Like they really got better. That's really cool to see. When it gets too close to concert, it's almost like performance every rehearsal. It's like it's more about dynamics. You gotta get the rhythm right. You gotta get the notes right. I'm learning at the rehearsals how how to sing like a man. <laughs> The leadership and the, um, the mentoring of the older boys and the young men really helps the younger kids to, to understand what singing in a group is all about. Louis being 10, it's a, it's a great opportunity to see the level uh, some of those young musicians can reach. One of my greatest experiences in the, in the choir is getting to learn from the children in the choir. It's great just to work with the, the little guys, you know, like uh, help them get better and help them feel comfortable and confident. They're a model, and the best model you can get because they have the best voices. We've built specific programs and workshops to help the young men of the group develop confidence, leadership skills, and emotional intelligence. Carl couldn't sing in front of anybody before. After a few good men and the performances, he sings at his Polish school in front of all the kids. The choir sings in different uh, languages. It's, um, it sort of reinforces the fact that he's part of a global team. He is, I think, more comfortable around other people. Um, he's more comfortable speaking. And uh, I think uh, we're starting to see that come together in school as well. It's a good spot for them to not be afraid to try something new and try something musical, try something like singing. I don't think a lot of 10-year-old boys are 
very confident and like willing to go out and sing. So this has really helped him socially, mentally and give him a lot of self-discipline. I think Patrick has, has carried on saying that everybody has enjoyed every rehearsal and every performance they've done. All of us guys work together, we learn all the parts, and then when we sing it in concert, it sounds really awesome. They brought the house down every time we saw it. The crowd just wants more and more and more. We put all of our time and all of our, all of our strength into our songs, and to get that standing up at was really special. It's so exciting to see all the new faces, all the, the new people that are being drawn to a few good men, that are noticing this community and saying, this is a place where I want to be. That's amazing. They discover their voice and also confidence in themselves. One of the key concepts that, that's kind of a running theme in the, in the choir is empowerment. We're empowering children to use their voices. I mean, what else is there?